Zato Connect is a compact, easy to use gateway to Atomos Cloud Studio. The device supports monitoring, recording, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, and nearly all HDMI and USB UVC sources to live stream to Facebook Live, Twitch, YouTube, custom RTMP, and other social sites. Zato Connect can also be used to create a webcam source for Microsoft Teams, Slack, Zoom, and other conferencing software. Update your firmware. Downloading the latest firmware for your Atomos device ensures that you're always up to date when we release exciting new features, as well as continually improving the product's user experience over time. Visit my.atomos.com and log in to your account. If you don't yet have one, create one for free by registering here. Once logged in, go to the My Devices section, where you can add a new product to your account by clicking the Register Product tile, or access ones you've already registered here. To download the latest firmware for your device, navigate to the Firmware Update tab and press Update on the most recent version of Atom OS Lite at the top of the list. Once the download is complete, unzip the archive and transfer the .bin file to the root level of your SD card. Don't place the .bin file in any folders on your SD card and ensure that your computer OS doesn't automatically add a one or any characters to the file name. For more info on supported SD cards, refer to the link in the description. Eject your SD card safely according to your computer's operating system guidelines. Insert the SD with the .bin file into your device. Power on your device. It's best practice to be connected to mains power via the power adapter or to use a freshly charged battery during the update process. The system will automatically start to update once powered on. A progress bar will be displayed throughout the update process, which may take a few minutes. Physical ports and their use. USB 1 acts as a USB UVC webcam input. UVC is a protocol for sending video over USB. So webcams, cameras, and other devices that support UVC output can be connected as an input to your Zardo. USB 2 is a multi-purpose port. If you want to connect to Ethernet, use the included USB-C to Ethernet adapter on USB port 2. USB 2 is also the UVC output port of the Zado Connect. If you want to connect your Zado Connect to your computer for web conferencing via apps like Teams, Skype, Zoom or Slack, plug in a USB-C cable here. Preparing your Zardo for use. Connect an HDMI compatible camera to your Zardo via the HDMI input. Webcams can only be connected to the Zardo's USB 1 port, as USB 2 is only an output or used with Ethernet adapter. And insert SD card with pre-recorded footage, if required. It's recommended you power your camera via mains to avoid losing your feed during the production. Connect your Zardo to the internet first and then pair it with Atomos Cloud Studio where you can select your streaming destination. The Zardo can be powered via USB power devices that can supply at least 20 watts of power. Picture-in-picture -picture support and quick access bottom row menu. Enabling picture-in-picture -picture with different inputs. Go to the overlays tab and then to the picture-in-picture sub-menu. If quick access row for picture-in-picture -picture is activated, you can see everything you change in the picture-in-picture -picture tab is reflected in the quick access row in the bottom of the screen. Picture-in-picture -picture allows you to display two video sources at the same time. One larger main source and a second smaller picture-in-picture -picture source. You have three available options to set as your main source. HDMI. This could be a DSLR or mirrorless camera, a games console, a computer that's used to present a slide deck, or even an HDMI multi-power input switcher like our Atom X cast. Set HDMI as main source and then enable picture-in-picture -picture from USB, UVC input, 
or SD card playback. USB UVC. This could be your regular USB webcam, other UVC devices like PTZ cameras, or even professional cameras like the Zcam E2 series that also output UVC signals via their USB port. Set USB webcam as main source and then enable picture-in-picture -picture from HDMI input or SD card playback. SD card. To stream pre-recorded content, you can simply choose to playback clips from your SD card that were recorded before the main stream. Set SD card as your main source and then select the clip you want to play back via the file browser. Once the clip starts playing, select HDMI or USB as your picture-in-picture -picture source. The playback menu appears. You can use it to loop your clip or skip to the next or previous file on the SD card. You can move the picture-in-picture -picture source around the frame and change the size from large and small. Enhancing picture-in-picture -picture with overlays. To download our Photoshop template for enhancing picture-in-picture -picture with overlays, refer to the link in the description. Switch from picture-in-picture -picture to layout in the overlay tab. Here you can enhance picture-in-picture -picture functionality with PNG overlays. Currently, overlays always sit one layer below the picture-in-picture. -picture. To upload media, switch to the Add Media tab. You have eight available media slots where you can load up to eight PNG graphics. Graphics with alpha channels are also supported. To upload graphics, you first need to select the slot you want to load the graphic onto. Once selected, press Browse Files to open the file browser, allowing you to navigate the folder structure of your SD card. Tap the file you want to load. Once you press Proceed, the upload will commence with a loading indicator displaying the progress. You can repeat this process with the seven other media slots. Layout. Once graphics are loaded, press the Layout tab on the left, which grants full access to the overlay configuration options. The Layout tab is operated from left to right and consists of three columns. Presets, overlays position, and media slots. Before you can add a graphic to your image, you first need to create a preset. Press on presets one to four and then on edit, allowing you to configure the preset freely and to your liking. Next, select the overlay position you want to assign a PNG graphic to. Select the graphic you want to use from the media slots and press save. Repeat this step for all other graphic overlays you want to add to this particular preset. Once all the position assignments are completed, you may apply the preset to your image by pressing the Apply button in the bottom right corner of this menu. Once the Apply button is pressed, it changes its state to Hide. So if you press it again, it will hide all overlays currently applied to the image. You can also hide and show overlay presets from outside the Layout tab by toggling the preset buttons in the Quick Access bottom row menu for overlays. To configure another preset, select from the preset section on the left and repeat this whole process. By selecting a preset and then pressing reset, you can remove all position and graphics assignments and start fresh. If you require more support, please visit atomos.com support. Until next time, go get creative.